And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to, frankly, uh, apologize for everything I've ever done in television. I am so sorry. I have ruined the culture. And, um, you know, I just hope hell isn't that hot. I burn real easy. I'm very light complected. I hope you all pray for me because if I get to heaven, you're all going. You know, think about it. You're all going. So take care of yourself and each other. And may you never, ever be on my show. What's up, guys? So I wanted to share this with you for my Bible channel. Um, it's a clip of... There we go. It's a little better. It's a clip of Jerry Springer uh, talking, you know, just before he died on the talk show, uh, like a little interview, and he was talking about um, how basically, you know, you're going to see me in hell, and he didn't care, and yada, yada, yada. Like... In my life, when uh, I see people who talk like that, I really think actually it's the Holy Spirit. Jesus said the Holy Spirit came to convince the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. The Holy Spirit is the one that pulls people to him, to, to God. Like, you can't come to Christ if the Holy Spirit doesn't woo you in, pretty much. Uh, so I think basically when people talk like that, they really do have a conviction on the inside, like, Stuff's getting serious, and this is before he died, and I think he was really coming to the re to the realization that things can get real real quick, and um, so, you know, the Bible says fools make a mock of sin, and riches profit not on the day of wrath, so, you know, the Bible says it's appointed unto men once to die, then the judgment. Nothing can save you except for what Jesus already did to pay for your sins. It's uh, not by might. Not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So, Jesus made salvation easy. You just repent. It, you, you can't earn it. You can't be good enough. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? So, if he has 70, 80 years here, but he's got an eternity separated from God and he can't earn it. So, when you see stuff like this, and like I said earlier, it reminds me of people uh, who just make a mock at sin so how can you woo them how can you help them do you preach to them do you just say you're going to hell you know all this no you don't want to do that the bible says uh a brother offended is harder to be won over than a strong city so you you don't want to do that you don't want to offend them you want to pray for them start by prayer because prayer gets god involved and the bible says that jesus says that the the harvest is plentiful but the labors are few pray the Lord of the harvest, send laborers. So you, what you do is you pray that God will send people that they will listen to, to cross their path. And as you're praying for them, their hearts will be softened. The Bible says that uh, Satan is the God of this world, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. So he, he plays them as puppets. He has them blinded, the Bible says. So you want to pray that they see clearly. You want to pray that they see clearly that God is good, that the light of the gospel shine, up, shine upon them. What is the gospel? The gospel is good news. So you pray that God will send people across their path that they will listen to. And then when you have the opportunity, then you witness to them. So that's what you do in that situation. You never know if Jerry actually made it. Um, you don't know what happens in the last five, 10 seconds or the last minute or when he really knows the ship is sinking. He could repent at the last minute. You never know. But the Bible says today is the day of salvation, so you don't want to put it off. Hope this message has uh, helped you in some way. Remember, don't just witness and be preaching and nagging on them. Pray for them every day. That You do your part of praying for them. Pray that God will send people that they will listen to. They may not listen to a family member. Jesus says that a prophet is without honor except in his own, own hometown. So um, you want to send people that aren't familiar to them that they'll listen to because they're like, oh, that's just him. Oh, that's just David. Oh, that's just my son. You know, you want to send people that God will um, use specifically that they'll listen to because they will listen to somebody and God will present them with the opportunity of salvation. Be sure of that with your prayers. And then if you're there and you see that uh, opportunity is open to where you can talk, talk about God as the Holy Spirit leads you. So like I said, you don't know if he's in hell. It's possible. You know a tree by, its, by the fruit it bears, but um, hope this message has helped you. If it has, hit the like button. It helps you grow and expand the channel. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. And we'll talk to you next time.